Hello, this is Rafe Gal. We're jumping into Link to the Past. Uh, what you missed off screen was uh, me refill or er, finishing off the Pound of Happiness. I think you can actually get up to like. I think there's you could still spend more rupees down there, but uh, 30 bombs and 50 arrows should be plenty. Um, I also, as long as I was just there, went and refilled my uh, my fairies because I got that extra bottle and I used a bunch of fairies, you know. So I went and looked it up. I I also looked went and looked up uh, what. Uh, Reminded myself what the items were for each of the upcoming dungeons. And while I would love to go get the blue armor just to make myself die less and to make you guys have to listen to the infernal beeping less, uh, the ice temple is a pain without the fire rod. So we're going to go get the fire rod before we go delving into ice temples. Okay, so this is one of my favorite dungeons just because of the whole the way it's set up. So it, there's the obvious thing here, which is you know the mouth. This dungeon is like in several pieces through spread throughout the world and just like in the real or in the yeah the light world. There's a hidden passage there. So, I think that's another one of those really cool mirrorings of you see the same thing in the same place. Oops. Close up that wall, which doesn't actually help us yet. It's over here. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, we need the key first, but now we've got that done. <laughs> yeah, this dungeon is very heavy on these little tiles that change the way that uh, the layout of the room goes. And you can enter and exit it back onto the real world, kind of like uh, we had with level 2 with uh, in the desert, except for much, much, much more. So it's really spread out. And apparently I can't even do anything in this section right now. But hey, I got that little section unlocked. <laughs> Not that it does me any good. Just need to go in here first. Yes, this looks right. Okay. So yeah, these, this has mummies. Basically, this dungeon has all of your least favorite enemies from, uh... Oops. That's not what I was trying to do. <laughs> Basically, this dungeon has all of your least favorite enemies from the original Zelda, except, uh, Wizrobes. Or at least, my least favorite. And the Wallmasters don't stay dead when you kill them unlike in the original Zelda. There we go. Ooh, a little 
lag there. <laughs> Big key. Okay, now I'm just tempted. Look at how many hearts I lost already. You say, just grab the fire rod and call it a day. <laughs> Go get the blue armor. Oh. We'll finish the dungeon. I do like this dungeon just because of the layout. It's a really annoying dungeon, but it's a really cool dungeon. I like the fact that it's, uh, it's very creative. It's very creative. Fire rod. We still don't have any regular keys. <laughs> Which seem like they would be useful. Okay, I'm trying to remember what else. Because I think... I think each of these holes does go to a different section of the dungeon. I think that shows off the power of the red sword pretty well. We get to kill those blue uh, bouncy guys in one hit. The red ones still take way too many, but less than they used to. <laughs> If I'm remembering correctly, yeah, that triggers that trap, makes the floor go all wonky. apparently everything I was making the ice rod out to be. Um, <laughs> it basically, w there's several different kinds of enemies that it one-shots, which makes it very useful, uh, especially in this dungeon with the mummies and in the next dungeon that we're going to do. Oh, excuse me. Uh, the ice dungeon, uh, because the ice dungeon has literally enemies that can only be hurt by the... Well then, by the fire rod, more the bombos medallion. Melt them. You have to use fire. So normally, at this point, you're stuck behind a one-way door, and you have to use a key to get out. We're actually going to do this. Because I believe we should be able to get out a different way now. I could be wrong.
I think I'm wrong. <laughs> we have to use at least one key either way. Okay, so we'll use this one to get back over here. Yeah, because the other one would have just connected in two, but if you used both, then, uh, and you're down a key. So I think... I want to go this way now. not actually that exciting. <laughs> We're gonna go out here, uh, mostly just to reset our cursor. <laughs> so if we get captured by a wall master, uh, our entrance is shifted. At this point, what we actually want to do is just skip up here. This is the actual end of the dungeon. I love the little trick there. There's a wall that blocks off that treasure chest, so you actually have to go around to a different door to do it. See there, I'm being very careful to uh, stop when it's been a little bit of time to make sure that I don't get uh, hit by a wall master and get dragged back out. Also, by not fully exploring the other section of the dungeon, uh, we are basically skipping chunks uh, in order to Okay, we're actually gonna grab this fairy without uh, putting it in a bottle just because our health's low. Um, but yeah, we, we skipped a part of this dungeon basically because uh, we didn't ex fully explore the other section. So. So yeah, we, I mean, you can even see there, we have a key left, <laughs> which you shouldn't coming out of a dungeon most of the time. So we skipped a chunk of the dungeon, but we don't really, I don't think there's anything we really need in it. Uh, we got the fire rod, 
We got a crystal. We got a heart. What else do you need in life, really? Escape from the clutches of evil monsters. Prophecy of the Great Cataclysm. Person has an evil heart gets the Triforce. A hero is destined to appear, appear who must face the person who began the Cataclysm. Basically, if Ganon beats us, then we're just screwed forever. That's basically what I got out of that. Yes. Yes, I understand. I don't know why it would... Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So, we are going to... Go ahead and venture this way. <laughs> trying to remember what the, where this hole takes us. I guess we'll find out. Oh, at the top half of this. Okay. Excuse me. I hope that was not painfully loud. Should probably uh, find a way to easily access a mute button at some point. I'll put that on my growing list of things I need to do if I continue doing these uh, doing these videos. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna work back for one reason because this is the fairy tree. If you missed that last time, uh, yeah, this tree, basically, every time you go into it, there are four fairies, uh, in a pond. So, when I said I refilled my fairies, this is where I went. I don't have any empty bottles. Hey. First world problems. Not enough bottles for all the fairies you've got available. By the way, random breath of the wild side note. I was a little disappointed that there was no bottle. I know that seems random. And I just realized that I actually probably wanted to be in the light world. Yeah, I know that seems random, but, uh, I, you can, like, go pick up fairies and they revive you, but there's no, no bottles. I wish there were bottles. I mean, granted, you could, like, pick up so much more in that game than you could any other Zelda game, just because there's, like, healing items and buff items and ingredients and, like, all kinds of stuff. But, no bottles. This is why I went back to get the fire rod first, uh, because you literally have to kill these guys several times, uh, and 
they literally can only be killed by fire rod, I believe, or, um, or bombos. And I don't have the magic power to just sit and use bombos for that. This is kind of a cool, or that's kind of a cool room. Uh, uh, the room, depending on which way you enter from, you can push the block one direction. So you end up kind of having to go in and out of doors or planning your path based on that. It's kind of cool. I like it. Okay. Turn into a fairy with the magic powder. Can't actually go through there, it's a one way, basically. This is another level that has a really, like, it requires a lot of exploration. And if you don't know some of the tricks to it, you are going to spend a long time <laughs> looking around. <laughs> Even if you know some of the tricks, you're going to spend a long time looking around. Hopefully this kind of explains why I wanted to make sure I did the Fountain of Happiness. <laughs> because bombs. So in this area here, there's weird shadow guys that come out of the holes, and a random enemy has the key with no indication. The floor moves, there are spikes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. This is the point where I regularly remind everyone that I'm using a uh, a keyboard and not a controller. And that is my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I have been told that I need to get a controller, especially for Zelda. But I don't like most of the controllers. I really should, if I at some point just get like a one of the, those adapters that you can use to get uh, to use like Super Nintendo controllers or original PlayStation. Because those are really my, my controllers of choice. Oh, we don't have a map. What's up here? Let's check up here first. Oh boy. I'm not sure you actually need a little neat trick there. If you run through into the wall, you don't get hit. Um, I 
Yeah, you technically, I don't think, need the hookshot to get to this dungeon. Um, but you do use it several times throughout, so it's one of those things where there's no obvious indication. Um, finish what was up here, did we? Because we went the wrong way. I can't remember if there's actually even anything up here, but I want to say it's like a key. No, nope, I'm just wrong. Those little Triforce tiles throughout give you little hints. Uh, they're from Shura Shura Shura, who I've uh, been informed it's pronounced, uh, I believe it's Tahasrala, which totally makes sense. Uh, I don't know why it's always been really hard for me to pronounce. <laughs> I said it on air once. <laughs> Even though he does not actually come up for like pretty much at all for the rest of this. Um, I think, yeah. Okay. If I don't have to fight them, let's not. So you saw there that hole we were falling, or that we fell down, uh, had the big chest. That's the blue, the blue male. Um, the trick there is you have to bomb a hole that you can fall down to get to the correct section. actually another way through this or if you have to get to it from a different angle. I think you just have to get to it from a different angle. Definitely a dungeon where if you don't have the exact route memorized, you're going to backtrack a lot. Um, because a lot of it consists of falling down a hole. Okay, so we want to go over here. Of course. It's that stairway that I didn't go through like twice.
What? I thought I got the big key already. No. Okay. <laughs> Remember all that backtracking we were going to do? Yeah, we're going to do some more. By the way, um, this level does have ice physics, just to, like, not the whole dungeon, but those little tiles that we were on a second ago are very much ice physics, so... It is much easier to fall off than it probably looks offhand. I do not have include the map. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna go down here one more time. Then we're gonna remember that's the wrong way. Again. If you've been watching my Lufia videos at all, you know I am terrible at remembering where all the stairs are. Um, oh my. That's where we're going. <laughs> driving me crazy, because I s I mean, we tried. Yeah, there's not- apparently you can't bomb it. But it looks like you can bomb it. Which drives me crazy. Okay. This is kind of the item check level- or one of the item check levels. It's like, just to make sure you've actually beaten the other levels before you come here. Since you technically don't have to. Um... If you don't have the hammer, you can't get through that little section. If you don't have the hook shot, there's a few sections. If you don't have... I mean, it's that kind of thing. It's not really black and white about it, and doesn't, like, prevent you from trying to enter. It just makes the levels harder or certain areas of it inaccessible. I'm not remembering. Yeah, we just love all four fairies, and we do, and we're keeping our health up, so that's good. Okay. things that I'm very bad about in especially this type of game um, is killing everything <laughs> like I feel this compulsion generally to just kill all the enemies in the room even if there's not really a reason that you need to it's like the doors are right there dude And, I mean, in, especially in this level, there are some areas where you get an, something extra for killing all of them, but most of the time, this is just me being, uh, killing unnecessary things, because, you know, I, I feel like you just kill all the guys. Um, like that. Yeah, could've just gone downstairs. 
Apparently I am a murder machine. Again, ice physics, just to be clear. <laughs> I'm not just bad at this. <laughs> Really, really annoying ice physics. Blue mail. So, yeah, now all damage taken is halved. Seems good. Uh, since I didn't mention it, those skeleton enemies, in order to kill them, you actually have to hit them once to knock them down and then plant a bomb. like maybe halfway through this level. It's a long one. Ooh, buh, buh, buh. Oh, that's right. You have to do the... Okay. I remember now. I remember the things. I just want to make sure this isn't, uh, there's no, like, hidden key in one of those. Okay. So. We did that. So that is the, I believe, the only spot in the dungeon where you can flip the... Flip where the blocks show up. So... I don't think that's the right one, though. Because I, I believe what you have to do now is go all the way around and back up. <laughs> Through this very familiar section. Uh. Sorry if I'm a little quiet for a second, but this is literally like my fourth time through this. I'm sure you understand, being as it's also your fourth time through it. Okay, where... God, I hate this level. <laughs> okay, so we need to get back over there. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Should 
to re-emphasize, I have a terrible sense of direction, so I could be going the complete wrong way, but I'm pretty sure this is the right way. there. <laughs> it might just be a little longer. Whoa, lag. Looks like we get to go through that whole thing again. Because I'm bad at this game. I can't remember if this actually is a thing or not. Again, again, very nice to have all these bombs. The first part of the game where you can only have 10 bombs is like painful to me because I like bombs. <laughs> Also, I was totally wrong about that, apparently. It's just where the switches are. Ugh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I really hate this dungeon so much. Um... has always been my least favorite dungeon. It's a cool design, it's really complicated, um, but it's really hard to tell where you're going, and as I just said, I have a terrible sense of direction, so this is like, this dungeon is like my worst nightmare. Yep, this is where I should have gone. <sighs> so, a little bit ago when I was trying to figure out whether I should go up or down, this is where I should have gone. I'm pretty sure I still have to do another full cycle again. I don't have to do the hole again. Because we already have the blue mail. Yeah. We are literally just walking through as much of this as we can right now because uh, I'm really frustrated and making mistakes, so we're rushing. <laughs> You can see there, uh, on the bottom the floor, that block that we pushed over is now on the bottom floor. What we have to do is go around, 
once. <laughs> push the block from the other side so that we can use it to push it onto the switch. <laughs> I have not fought a single enemy in that room throughout this entire run. This is still not a thing. I'll go this way. Isn't that neat? You can charge forward and not hit any of them, even on the bounce back. Hmm, maybe I should go up, or I could go across here to where I'm supposed to go. Okay, that's what I should have done. That was the full cycle of the upper floor that I had to redo because of this. Drop here. Super item check. <laughs> Do you have all the items? I know the other one's the. St I'm pretty sure the other one's like a stairway, so we're going this way first to get whatever's there. You have to pull out the statue. push it to get out of the way <sighs> and I think that's the boss so, yeah. normally you have to go through a whole phase where you thaw him from the ice we're skipping that Use a lot of magic, but it refills at the end. Uh, didn't lose any fairies. Honestly, it's not a super hard boss. Uh, especially after that level. God, I hate that level. God, I hate that level. Okay. Um, See, there's a bunch of scrolling text here. Because of you, I can escape from the clutches of evil monsters. Thank you. No. See, so the highly of people controlled mysterious powers, as did the seven wise men. But the blood of the highly has become thin over time. No strong power. Powers will increase if they mix with the courage of the knights, the wisdoms of the wise men. That's references to the uh, the triforces of wisdom and courage. I, I do love that it has the, do you understand, at the end of each of those? Which means you can make it repeat itself over and over again. Okay. So, uh, that was a probably long enough for a regular session already. Uh, let's see, I don't know where we're actually going next. Well, that's for future Lucas to figure out. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead, save and quit. We'll pick back up next time from... Actually, you know what? We're going to go to continue game. We're going to go back in to the dark world and save and quit so that we can start from the pyramid instead of from the sanctuary like last time. Because I'm smart like that. So, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.